There was a hate crime that occurred in Washington State over the weekend. Law News reports here. Police in Washington State say a white supremacist attacked a black man and white woman for kissing. Olympia Police spokeswoman Laurel Wall said that a couple were standing outside a restaurant when Daniel Rowe, 32 years old, reportedly confronted them. He didn't say a thing before stabbing the man and accidentally cutting the woman. The man then tackled him and held him down until authorities arrived. Roe allegedly had a lot to say when cops arrived. CNN said Roe had tattoos that read skinhead and white power and complained about Black Lives Matter. He attacked the couple because he saw them kiss. Quote, the suspect spouted white supremacist sayings and made many, many references to racist things, Wall said. So, um, this is incredible. And as they point out in the article here, they put uh, an attack that happened in 1950s and then put a line through 1950s and put today <laughs> and they go on to explain all the facts here every time i read a story like this the the thing that i can't get out of my mind is how how with all of this information available with all the data on the internet and all you can read to debunk bullshit ideas there's still people who cling to their bullshit ideas and this goes for fundamentalist islam fundamentalist christianity you know and every hateful bigoted ideology uh, obviously white supremacy, uh, neo-Nazism, ne uh, being a neo-Confederate, all these things fall into that category. And it's almost like they don't want to learn and evolve. They want to cling to their childish beliefs. Because again, it's so easily debunked. We've spoken about it before, but okay, white supremacy. Uh, like Hitler, for example. They believed in German mysticism. That was one of the, the tenets of Nazism. And they tried to create, like, a state religion based around Nazism and Hitler, of course, being the demigod. And one of the fundamental beliefs in Nazism and white supremacy more generally is this belief in the superiority of the Aryan race. Well, the Aryan race, has it's been proven by scientists, didn't even exist. <laughs> the idea of, like, blonde hair, blue-eyed people, Germanic people, again, they call them Aryans from this particular area, this particular region, and there was a time when they controlled the earth. Didn't happen. Not real. Didn't happen. Simply didn't happen. But in German mysticism, oh, they're on the top of the food chain, and then you go down the list, and all you go all the way down, and at the bottom, the fucking Jews, who represent everything evil, and they try to control everything behind the scenes, and they're trying to, you know, rule the world and keep down the Aryan man, who's supposed to rightfully be on top. And they come up with all types of bullshit pseudoscientific rationalizations. I measured your facial dimensions and it's that of a Jew, so off to the gas chamber you go. And the fundamental contradiction in these belief systems is what? As they claim to be superior, they do actions which are demonstrably inferior if you believe in a basic moral code. So, in other words, we're superior, we're so much better, we're so great, we're so great, and to prove that, we're going to massacre everybody who's not part of our group and not exactly like us and part of the groups that we deemed inferior. But the very actions of uh, oppressing them, torturing them, killing them, you go down the line. Those actions are immoral and inferior actions by their own nature. So any objective analysis of a Nazi versus, you know, any, you know anybody they're persecuting is, oh, the Nazi is actually inferior, based on your actions. You are what you do, and you have chosen to do these horrific, immoral actions. You don't get to do the immoral actions, act inferior, and then say, I, but I'm so superior. But no, your actions show you're inferior in this respect. So yes, if you're a Nazi, that's not equal. It's not like, oh, a Nazi is equal to uh, other people. No, you're inferior. Your ideology, your belief system is inferior. It is. If you're a fundamentalist Muslim, if you're a fundamentalist Christian, if you, if you have a, a wholly untrue belief system that spreads vitriol and bigotry and hatred and is, has grotesque consequences on this planet, that ain't equal. That's inferior. So, here we have another manifestation of that. A guy who just sees an interracial couple. I'm so superior to them and what they're doing that I'm going to stab somebody and try to kill somebody because they're doing that. That would ironically prove the opposite point of what you're trying to prove. You're trying to prove I'm superior, my ideology is right, but no, in the process of stabbing an innocent couple who weren't hurting anybody, you prove the opposite. You prove that they're 
liberalism and open-mindedness is superior to your bigotry and your hatred and your xenophobia and your backwards, draconian, archaic ideology. So we got to see all these ideologies go away, man. Whether it's fundamentalist Islam, fundamentalist Christianity, um, you know, white supremacy, even various uh, fascism, that's another hateful ideology, um, even certain strains of communism that are deeply authoritarian in nature, look at how many people Stalin killed, all these hateful authoritarian, grotesque ideologies need to go away because they are indeed inferior and more open information and education will eventually destroy these ideologies.